found a great little cabin just above the beach on the west side of Fidalgo Island on Swinomish tribal land. The resort a cabin is in is run by Thousand Trails, who leases the property from the Swinomish tribe. Here's our little one bedroom cabin. And here's our dog Freya. She just up and sat on the chair right across from me having my coffee. I found this nice little bay at the north end of the uh, body of water that we have a cabin on. I believe this might be Similk Bay. I've anchored off in here before with a little sailboat uh, to weigh down a storm. It was in a June in the 70s and there was thunder off in the distance but it was very calm and it was a very peaceful evening. And we had a spaghetti dinner so it's probably 1974. Anyway, long history here. Well, good morning. I am on a scouting mission and I'm on the Swinomish Indian Reservation and uh, looking for a sunrise opportunity. What I see here is Mount Baker and a trestle. So this just might be the right place to be for a sunrise. Well, this is an interesting configuration uh, with these tracks. They tend to go up and terminate. I mean, they just actually just cut off up here. And there's a trestle out there that seems to not connect to anything. Okay, I think I've got this thing figured out. This trestle spins. It's more like a bridge to connect this side of the, uh, I guess this would be Fodago Island, with the uh, Fur Island side. Okay. So, I solved that mystery. I have sailed through this channel before. Probably five years ago, up with a little sailboat, a 22-foot boat called Salute, and we sailed off north of here and had a great time up in the San Juan Islands. So, in honor of the San Juan Islands, I have my San Juan's hat. Well, I'm at the other end of the trestle now. And this is where I had chosen to set up for my morning shot. I'm hoping to get some more colors from this sunrise, which is in progress as we speak. Oh, there is some color. And here's the setup and the composition that I am working on. So there you have it. That's what I'm working on. 
Hi, so here we are at La Connor on the Swinomish Channel. Swinomish Channel, I guess is how it's properly pronounced. And uh, let me turn this around so you can get a little bit of a, a view. Of... So the Swinomish Channel is a natural channel. It's salt water. Water ebbs and flows through here twice daily, actually four times. Two ebb, two flows. The water comes from the south to the north and then reverses direction and goes from north to south routinely throughout the day. Out on the Skagit River Delta, which is just north of us, they contained it using dikes, but it was quite a labyrinth of canals, pathways, creeks, sloughs. I guess it was called the Swinomish Slough originally. Anyway, let me tell you a little bit about the town history. It was a trading post being on the water in the 1850s and uh, in around 1860, 1859 time era, there was a, a trading post here and the Indians had occupied the uh, west side, which is up there. And uh, on this side was a trading post of uh, managed by white settlers. And this gentleman, uh, John Connor, had bought the trading post and 70 acres of land for $500. And his wife's name was Louise Ann Connor. And that's where the L.A. Connor came from, La Connor. The uh, town itself was the uh, county seat but that honor was moved to Mount Vernon. So anyway, there you have it. A little bit of history on the town of La Connor.